you excited? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, um, it's weird. You, I think I sort of repress it a bit. You know, you know you are. That's quite a good place to be in, but it's quite hard to feel those emotions really in a very raw sense. Now I've just got to do the job of getting on the route, really, or we have rather. So, can we carry some of that? For the casual, the casual observer, you might think, "Oh my God, what on earth do you want to go on breakaway for?" Who did it first? They shouldn't have come here. It's wrong. <laughs> You know, it's a tottering pile of shale. You know, it's falling apart all over the place. You, know, you can't get any decent protection in. The belays are all, you know, they're all shot to pieces, whatever. Um, so it's how you cope with the journey, which is the really interesting part. Wow, yeah, I'm speechless, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to get on there and pull a few bits off, get a feel for the, for the rubbish, you know. Just want to get on with it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Best not to check them, really. Let's just go with it. I think you just have to accept that nothing's really as solid as it appears ever. <laughs> Got to stay with it while it's all falling apart, really. You know you can't try too hard, you can't push too hard, you can't pull too hard, so you just have to let it all sort of gently happen, you know, and that's the scary thing, you start trying to control it, you're fucking nowhere, you're nowhere if you start trying to control it. <laughs> you enjoy that? It's up to a point. Shouldn't be climbing on it. I don't know how you how you're nice to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, it's quite like commendable, isn't it? Kind of like. Absolutely. I wouldn't have done it, I'd have gone home. Slack. Bit slack. Bit slack. Yeah. People have this this notion that that you need to go out and actively scare yourself. I don't think it. I don't think that's the the real point. It's where that takes you. 
and how you cope with feeling scared. Fucking hell, that was unbelievable, Beth. Yeah, you, you want to know something about yourself. Okay. All right. <laughs> and somehow you can only find out those things on a route that requires total commitment. It's physical, um, you could say it's emotional, but I mean, basically, you've got to be able to hold your head together. You've just got to be able to sort of slightly detachedly observe what's going on inside you when you're on it and not get thrown out by that. Shit, look there. You don't question why you're there or what you're doing because you can't afford to. You've just got to sort of enjoy that does seem utterly kind of weird. You do just have to hope that the whole thing's gonna hold together. I don't know what it is at all, but it's like feeling completely on your own, but you just feel really purposeful, um, just you against it. And I don't know, every step you move forward, you just get this great sense of development. And that's just, that's, that's superb. And if anything, I'd say that's what I like about climbing, full stop. It's hard to get that elsewhere, I think, you know, in the office or whatever. <laughs> and you know when you get to the belay that you've gone through it and looked back on it and actually quite enjoy it. You're, you're all right. Cool. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Top's not far away, is it? No. <laughs> this looks good and reasonable. It's funny because you sit on the beer lane, it actually looks all quite calm upstairs, and you think, well, maybe it's alright. <laughs> How wrong can you be? I've been so stressed seconding something. It should be easy, you're on a top rope. Oh, I've got a headache now. Ah, lovely. Nice one. <laughs> Oh, 